my husband's been serving, uh, he served in the 82nd Airborne 2505, and uh, I support my husband 100% uh, going over there and fighting for his country because there are a lot of people who don't agree with the war, but that's, you know, that's their opinion, and they're entitled to it, but we need to support our president as well if we want to make this country a better country. You know, we shouldn't be against our own people. Like I said, they have a right to have their own opinion. But with the American flags upside down, that's sending a completely wrong message. I don't agree with that. What they say it is, that's not what it's saying to other people. So they need to turn those around. They say it's a, a, a sign of distress, America's in distress, but well, that's not what it's telling other people. So no, I don't think that they should be out here, you know, it's sending a wrong message. Would and you? I support my husband 100% okay. he going to war and all that. And you would respect their protest if, if the flags were right side up? Is that your main issue? No, I don't believe they should be out here at all, because then that would be contradicting myself when, when I say I support my husband and then I say that they, they're allowed to be out here. So, no, I don't agree that they should be out here. Okay. But you did say America was about freedom. Yes. How do you uh, match that with the idea that people shouldn't be protesting? Because they're protesting against America. What, what America... But, what, but isn't, isn't freedom the right to come out and say, I don't agree with our president? That's true. That's, that's very true, but I can't really answer that. I really can't. That's just how I feel. Yes, America is about freedom. But at the same time, um, I believe that we should all, uh, you know, be with our president, not against our president. Because we, if we want this world to be better, then we need to, with our country to be better, then we need to all stick together. And with this going on, it's, it's not going to work. 9-11, yes, I do. After what happened with that, I believe that we should have gone. We need to stop the terrorists from coming into our country. They're, they're basically jealous of America. And my husband says that, my husband says that um, the whole country is based on religion. And I believe that because the Iraqis hate us for just having all this freedom that we have and people get to do this and that. And they have their women where they can't even show their faces and they believe in Allah or whatever. And they, they just hate us for that. They really do. And, and I believe that um, we should be over there right now. Whether it, it's for oil or for helping them out, we need to be there for both reasons. Because if not, they're going to keep coming over here trying to bomb our cities and, and states. And that's not right. Somebody has to put a stop to it. I think the president's doing a good job. I really do. And I support him 100%. Includes my husband. My main question, I don't have a lot of time, but my main question is, if you're really not pleased with the U.S. government, you're not pleased with this country, why don't you move somewhere else? Move to Iraq. And if according to the right way, we should intervene and help people come to settlement, to come to a peace, to come to be, you know, to live as we live. Oh, you're I've had um, 35, 40 years of um, involvement in uh, the civil rights movement and with all the lynching and discrimination and that sort of thing. And if we ask uh, people to um, uh, sacrifice their lives, uh, uh, I'm, I'm certainly no better than them, and I ought to take uh, as, as much risk as I'm asking them to take. It's been bad. In the Vietnam War, most, 1963, most of the people were for that. It built up, and, and only when things start, started to go bad in 67 uh, did, did things turn. But the, the mood has been Reaganite, Nixonite, um, Bushite. Um, uh, and uh, now, even, even in the Clinton years, a half a million children died because we, with, with uh, those uh, sanctions, we wouldn't let 
the uh, equipment for purifying water and, and sanitation in there. I spent a lot of time working in homeless shelters. I was in Food Not Bombs for many years in San Francisco, uh, among other things. I had uh, 12 arrests for civil disobedience. I, I also uh, was in, um, in Nicaragua working for the Sandinistas, uh, a couple of trips there. Uh, doing computer programming in, in 89, I, I, I did two stints for Technica, Technical Assistance to Nicaragua, uh, working programming the Banco Nacional de Desarrollo, National Bank of Development. We've been out there uh, just about uh, a little over uh, two years. We first started out initially um, with the um, Monterey Peace Coalition. Uh, what at that particular time they called it a, a vigil. I first saw Richard for the first time February at a uh, Peace Coalition meeting. I learned where he lived. He lived close to me. So I figured, well, I, I, I might as well pick him up when I drive in. So that's how we got to, to uh, it was where we lived. But it turns out that we both are uh, like-minded. <laughs> Needed to communicate with the entire community, with the military community, and uh, the people who were literate and the people who were illiterate. And everybody was familiar with the flag, cited the Pledge of Allegiance to it, and uh, felt something about the flag. But the thing is, it also generated an equal amount of hostility. But that fitted into our plans because we were uh, want to have an effective form, a way of communicating with the people about the uh, immoral and the illegal war. It's starting out, uh, it was popular what he did and that he had a bunch of small flags and a lot of people were carrying the upside down small flags. But the, uh, the, the uh, people were yelling from automobiles uh, and, and there were some people who were school teachers, public school teachers, a dentist, and uh, and, and and I think they uh, they they didn't like being being uh, in in this position, which might uh, jeopardize their job, teaching at Fort Ord or and that kind of thing. I, I think that was that was the problem. It was uh, fear of what the consequences would be. Uh, plus, a lot of them didn't like to be yelled at. <laughs> Starting out, there were quite a bit of yelling. The, the, the swastika was not uh, initially introduced, but as the wars escalated, the news came out about what was going on in Iraq, U.S. policy toward the, uh, the carpet bombing of uh, innocent civilians, and, and the brutality of the soldiers and breaking into people's houses and uh, imprisoning people. It became apparent to us that we had, uh, the country had turned fascist and we had fascist leadership. In terms of uh, the shock and awe and the attitude of the United States in perpetuating its immoral policy, they slaughter women and children uh, in their houses and in their beds. We more or less decided with regrets to introduce the swastika because Many people were familiar with the fascist experience uh, during the, the Nazi Germany era. 